the blood health blueprint. What your blood does for you, white blood cells, red blood cells. What do we do with this mixture of essential needed blood flow? How can you get proactive to have healthier blood? You're not getting fresh blood cells. You're not getting fresh white blood cells. It compromises everything, compromises your immune strength. And just being able to defend in a world that is hitting you with 1,000 virus and virus particles every day. So I wanted to dig into white blood cells. And if there's some problems going on, give you some specific wellness cabinet recommendations that the living goods use to combat based on what your white blood cells are telling you. Now, you're gonna see when these are low, fever, rashes, ulcers, things don't heal, you get sores in multiple areas of your body, pneumonia, other severe illnesses, weird illnesses, tiredness, things just get wore out. Right now, there's five different types. First is neutrophils. That's the most common, and they protect the body from infections. They kill and digest bacteria and fungus that comes in. So this is the frontline defense for your immune system. Your body reacts when you get interacting in your blood with a bacteria or fungus, and you get inflammation, redness, swelling in some areas, but that's part of the healing process. So if neutrophils are low, that's when those fevers, those rashes, those ulcers, sores, pneumonia, tiredness, that's what's showing up. Now, if it's more chronic, that's when you're seeing autoimmune disease, or you could have a dormant virus just hanging out. That's creating problems. Or maybe this is when you ran into the virus. So main two things I do to combat this, and I'm doing this right now during this time of year, to try Try to strengthen the neutrophils and keep the white blood cells strong is making sure your vitamin D levels are between 50 to 100, taking it with zinc, with probiotics, with fat, and with the fat soluble vitamins, adding in magnesium and K2 because that's what keeps calcium balanced in your body so you don't calcify your arteries by just taking D3 alone, and then adding magnesium because if you take a lot of vitamin D, it depletes your magnesium. You don't want that happening. If you are dealing with a virus, you're coughing and hacking, you're traveling, these are powerhouses to help those white blood cells to do their job when you get in contact with things because it's inevitable have every single day. Now, from a chemical standpoint, I would suggest you pay attention to benzene. Benzene is one of the biggest chemicals that lower white blood cells, and it's used in so many different industrial processes to make chemicals like styrofoam, acetone, rubbers, lubricants, dyes, detergents, drugs, pesticides, and it occurs generally in the environment, and it's a natural constituent of crude oil and gasoline, but we're using it in so many different hairspray products, shampoo dry shampoo, um, deodorants, the rubbers on our shoes, chemicals of the new house. So if it's in your air and you can smell this like in paints and chemicals, you use plants to detoxify the air. And then if you're using personal care products, you want to look for the word benzene in the ingredients. If I see forms of benzene in the sunscreen, in the deodorant, in the hairspray, I don't get it. Staying away from it. But these lower white blood cells over time, like interesting study where they looked at benzene and its constituents. These are all cousins of it, kids of it. And the more of that that got in the system, the lower blood levels went of white blood cells. And there's a lot of correlation between benzene and types of blood cancers because it impacts your bone marrow. So long-term, when you look at leukemia, right, or just lower white blood cells, this is one to really stay away from. Now, if you've got it in the body, what do we do, Dr. Living Good? I'm suspecting it. That's when you go back to that liver cleanse and we start flushing this stuff out of the system. So that's why it's such a big part. And I would highly consider if you are in this zone to get your minerals in to help with the detoxification and the blood and the B vitamins. When neutrophils are high, you're under attack, right? You're having a flare up and you're having an infection. You got a virus, look for your vitamin D and then you want your immune supporter as well. So you're supporting with infections. When neutrophils get low over time, you could be dealing with toxicity or some kind of very serious disease. Obviously you're working with your doctor on it, but this could be one of the causes of why that's happening. Let's go to the next step. So the first type of white blood cell being low neutrophil. Now, second type of white blood cells, monocytes. This helps to protect against bacteria and fungus as well as viruses, okay? So the immune supporter, lysine, quercetin, very good natural nutrients to help support when the body is fighting virus side of things. The third one is a lymphocyte. These create the antibodies to fight against bacteria, viruses, and other invaders. So your T cells, your natural T cells, your B cells, vitamin D and the immune support stays right on par with neutrophils. When these are under attack, these are going up. That's what we're focusing on. Basophils be responsive to allergic reactions. So I get this question a lot. What do I keep in the wellness cabinet if I get seasonal allergies, day-to-day ones from pets? 
impacts are chemicals or things you come in contact with. See multiple nutrients that have been shown to help a normal histamine response. Tinospora, quercetin. So that's when the basophils are flaring up. Those histamines are kicking in. And then finally, there's eosinophils. And this is parasites. Could be cancers or other diseases, but oftentimes it's parasites. You being healthy, a lifestyle, one where you're not dependent on unnecessary medications, you're not dependent on doctors, you're not dependent on diagnostics, you are living health, energy, vitality, movement, happiness. That's a lifestyle. No one can take better care of you than you. You are the solution.